Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about calibrating the iPhone and I mean basically calibrate everything that you can calibrate on an iPhone. We're talking about the screen, the brightness, the compass, the motion, battery as well and also the haptic touch on your device. So if you feel like none of these or some of these are not working properly and not working like they should this is what you can do to actually make sure that you have them calibrated and they're working properly and first of all we're talking about the brightness this is one that probably will happen the most on your device you see sometimes you're on a dark environment and you have auto brightness turned on but it won't actually go low as low as it should be and it will still be quite bright or you're somewhere on a bright environment and the brightness is quite low so you can barely see your phone. Well, there is something you can do about it to calibrate the brightness of your iPhone. So head on to your settings and you will find the settings of your brightness by going under accessibility and then right here display and text size. Now what you need to do here is just go on a room or just on a place where it's really dark and make sure you turn off auto brightness and then just go ahead and put the brightness all the way down once you have done that then go ahead and turn on the auto brightness again and then just move to a brighter environment and you will notice that the brightness will actually go up it's if it's really bright it will go all the way up that way you will fix your brightness and will, you will calibrate it and from now on it will work as it should of course this can again happen in the future it doesn't mean that you have done that it will always work properly but anytime you see that it's not working properly you can just take a few seconds to do this process and you're good to go next up will be compass and motion calibration so if you feel like the the device is not working properly or the motion and distance is not actually working as it should what you can do about these sensors to actually calibrate them is by turning them off and on under the location services now the way to do that is head on to your settings go to privacy and security and here when you go to location services you won't see them anywhere here but you will need to actually go here to system services what you can do here is go ahead and turn off here compass calibration as well as motion motion calibration and distance turn these off and of course turn them back on and you can go ahead and do that calibration for your device now, if you don't want to deal with this you can of course even just turn off location services completely turn it back on and they should be, should be back to work as they should and now let's talk about the screen basically the haptic touch of your device now for haptic touch if you're on iOS 16 you will have two different options you will have three actually if you're on iOS 17 beta 2 so head on under accessibility and go to text and dis display and actually go to touch here and then under haptic touch you will have again on iOS 17 you will have three options you will have two if you're on iOS 16 so let's say you're using the default one but your device seems to like not actually respond as quick as it should what you can do here is just simply move to the other one so select slow and then go back and select the default one and it should actually now work as it and it's actually properly designed to work so you will notice like there's actually quite a big change if you choose one of these and if you have iOS 17 I would suggest that you use the faster one it will make haptic touch way way better and way more useful on your device and last but not least we're talking about the battery which is probably one of the most important ones now we have two different scenarios here for the battery and two things that I believe you can do to actually calibrate the battery of your device first of all we're talking about the battery percentage if you feel like your iPhone is not actually showing the proper battery percentage the first thing I would do is just reboot your device volume up volume down hold hold the side button until you see the app logo and you're good to go or just ask Siri to actually reboot your device that will work as well sometimes most of the times actually when I just encounter this problem is when I'm charging my iPhone so if I try to charge at 100% sometimes it will get stuck at like 97 or 98 the device is actually charged at 100 but it will just not show it 
once I reboot my device, it shows 100 at the battery percentage. Probably you have noticed this problem a lot. So that's one way to do that, to basically calibrate the battery percentage that shows right there. Another way is actually to let your iPhone drain down the battery completely and then charge your iPhone to 100%, but I don't suggest you do that often because of course draining the battery all the way down is not good for the battery health of your device. While talking about battery health, the battery health is another thing that you can calibrate, but you will actually be able to do this. The only way to do this is updating your device. You will notice that if you go to the battery health of your device, sometimes when you update your device, it will go down like one or two points. A lot of people might think that that's the problem with the update, but it's actually how this works. So iOS will basically check all the components of the device and basically just like show the info about them when it's updated. So once you update your device, it will check the battery and the battery health and will display it right there. So if I leave this device without updating, let's say for a couple of months, it will probably show 92% there for the next couple of months. Once I update the device to a new iOS version, it will probably drop like two or three points. That's the way you can calibrate the battery health of your device simply by updating your iPhone. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.